Have you ever been in an argument and then someone turns to you and says, The world doesn't revolve around you, you know. Well, for centuries, that's actually what people believed. The Copernican Revolution on Moments in Minutes. Until the 17th century, the accepted system for explaining the universe was the Ptolemaic, or geocentric model. From the days of ancient Greece, Earth was considered the centre of the solar system and the known universe, with all other planets and stars revolving around it. This theory was largely unchallenged until the publication of Nicholas Copernicus's On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres in 1543. Taking his ideas from Greek astronomer Aristarchus and Islamic astronomers Mu'ayyad al-Din al-Urdi and Ibn al-Shatir, Copernicus proposed a heliocentric model with the Sun at the centre of the known universe in place of geocentrism. In the early modern world, such a theory was explosive in nature. And when I say explosive, I mean being banned from public circulation for over 200 years. Explosive. Despite this, Copernicus's ideas spread throughout Europe's scientific communities, with prominent scientists supporting and expanding on his ideas, launching the Copernican Revolution. Tycho Brahe found compromise between the old and new models with the geoheliocentric model, where the Sun orbited the Earth and the planets orbited the Sun. Johannes Kepler used Copernican theory to prove the existence of elliptical orbits. Galileo Galilei's observations of Venus and Jupiter's moons provided further evidence for planets revolving around the Sun and not the Earth. Isaac Newton used Kepler's laws of planetary motion to explain the existence of gravity, which was one of the three famous laws of motion outlined in his book, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy. This book is viewed as the transition between the Copernican Revolution and the Scientific Revolution that formed the crux of modern science. It's difficult to underestimate just how influential the Copernican Revolution was. It was a paradigm shift in the way people understood their place in life. Prior to Copernicus, the Catholic Church and ancient philosophy placed man at the centre of our cosmos. But heliocentrism came and knocked those foundations right out from under us. Suddenly, man was no longer the divine end result of creation, the centre of the Aristotelian pure circle with the universe whizzing around his paramount position amongst all life. Thanks to the Copernican revolution, we now know that we're just mere floatsam and jetsam in the grander scheme of evolution, and no longer the centre of everything that revolves around us. The Copernican Revolution also gave birth to modern science and philosophy. The upheaval that heliocentrism caused in the 16th century led to the Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution. Both of these movements marked the transition in authority from the spiritual to the secular. The religious dogma that informed humanity for centuries had now become the focus of countless studies, inquiries and theories that championed reason as the guiding light in human society and led to the enormous progress in human achievement that has occurred over the last 300 years.